So I'm auditing Coo.co and that's Coo with three U's. And if you're wondering why Coo is spelled with three U's and why this website looks so great, it's because the founder drinks seven plus shots of espresso a day. And if you're wondering why I'm shirtless for this uh, audit, it's because it's like 30 degrees outside and I need some sun. Okay, so all jokes aside, this website's actually really great. It's got a strong CTA. It's interactive. Um, it's got a lot of great content that's well written on the landing page. Um, it's linked to everything you need to go to. Um, so yeah, website's super accessible. Uh, it's got a clear structure. So I've actually navigated over to the blog page now. Um, and as you can see, there's different categories here, which is great. Also the way the blog page is laid out. And for people that don't know, having a search bar like this is actually great for your SEO. And so the one thing I noticed is that, of course, there's a lot of content that's been written. Um, it's also quite a few guest writers, but this last post is in February 14, 2023. And so now we're going to ramp that content up, show you an easy way to create really great content that's going to rank. So this post was a post generated with the generator. Um, I'm going to show you basically what I did to create this post. Uh, if you don't believe me, you can see it's literally one single page. Okay, so once you've run your audits, you're going to head over to the content section. And I ran this on the blog page because, of course, that's where all the blogs are. So it's going to pick up on the already existing stuff there. And so in this, tell us about your brand. What I want you to do is you can have two brand profiles. So one I suggest is more a technical thing where you talk about like the technical stuff your brand offers. So in Q's case, it's about like um, social media presence, how to engage with your audience and create high quality content. Um, so I'd create one profile around that and then I'd create another profile about doing lifestyle stuff. And this works especially well if you've already got some sort of authority and you've got keywords that you perform well in. So when I talk about lifestyle stuff, I'm just going to spitball, but like if we talk about Q and the social media presence thing, we might talk about, uh, things, uh, like this influencer trend in whatever area or, um, you know, those sort of things where it's like, almost like imagine a news article. Um, and that sort of stuff gets featured on Google discover. I find if you take that lifestyle approach and you add in news, news themed content, something could be to do with like influencer trends on social media or other trends on social media, or just like even looking at the news regarding social media and sort of copying those, uh, themed content pages. And one other thing is also then turning it into listicles. It's like five influencer trends that are popping off on Instagram. Um, so what you'll do here is when you talk about the brand, you're going to almost like congregate a whole bunch of information on these lifestyle themed things and just put it all here. And so this way, when you go ahead and select all the articles and you press generate on them. And so once you navigate into the outline draft of your audit, you're going to find a page that looks like this for the content generation. And now here's a really cool trick. So I just pulled up this example of like social media trends from CNN sources, uh, obviously can find a bunch of other ones. So what I suggest is you go into one and you select the core things that this article speaks about. So you can even, you know, just plug into chat GPT and generate five core points or just select titles throughout the article. And then go ahead, find four core points and add one core point into each of these. So in this case, um, it might be, let's just select the headline of this article, um, like social media platforms. And we're just gonna go paste it in there and we'll do the same for, and we'll just pull them across from one article. And then when you're ready, we hit generate final draft. So if you're unfamiliar with Google Discover, it's at the bottom of, especially on mobile um, and desktop where there's a whole bunch of article pages. And if you can get like featured on the front of Google Discover, then this sort of stuff will happen where in three days time, you get 171,000 impressions and almost 10,000 clicks. Um, so you can sort of imagine the traffic that goes onto your websites and depending on your conversion rate too, um, you know, it can be really great to, you can pretty much get like a month worth of advertising done in just a few days. So here's your final draft. If you want to add in any links, um, any sort of images, et cetera, you've got the editor over here and you just go copy and paste this into your website and just like that, go ahead and index it and you're good to go.